teacher's bell. Where learning rings a bell. Good day everyone! Welcome to Science 3 Revised K-12 Curriculum Quarter 1, Week 3, Day 2 Our topic will be Comparing Our learning objective is By the end of this lesson, learners should be able to describe comparing as a science process skill Review Is observing helpful to our daily lives? Yes, examples are, we observe traffic before crossing the street, notice if food smells bad, or observe the weather to know what clothes to wear. Observing helps us stay safe, learn new things, and solve problems. It helps us make good choices every day. Our lesson purpose, to recognize comparing as a specific science process skill used in making observations to describe how comparing helps identify similarities and differences based on observations. Lesson language practice. Unlock difficulties in understanding the following terms. Characteristics are the special things or trait, quality or property about an object, person or animals that help us tell them apart. They can be what something looks alike, feels like, or how it acts. Alike means almost the same. When things are alike, they share the same look, shape, color, or other characteristics. Different means not the same. When things are different, they do not look, feel, or act the same. Comparing means looking at two or more things to find out how they are the same and how are they different. We can compare things like size, color, shape, sound, or taste. How can we compare things? So we have five objects for this activity. Object 1, sponge. Object 2, a rock. Object 3, a colored pencil, four, paper clip, and a leaf. Are you ready to compare? Yes! First, we need to identify their characteristics so we can sort them out according to their color, shape, size if they are big or small, texture if they are rough, smooth, or soft, and weight if they are light or heavy. Let's dive in! Okay, for the sponge, what is the color of the sponge? Yes, yellow! How about the shape? Rectangular, the size? Medium in size. Texture? Yes, it is soft and a bit rough. And very lightweight. For the rock, the color is gray. The shape is hmm, we cannot we cannot tell. It is irregular. The size is medium and the texture is rough. And it's quite heavy. For the colored pencil. The color is orange. The shape cylinder. The size is small, the texture is smooth, and the weight is light. Okay, paper clip. What is the color? Silver. The shape is? Yes, it's oval and curved. The size is? Small. Texture? Yes, smooth and hard. Weight? It's very light. Correct. Next is the last one, leaf. What is the color? Green. The shape, it's flat. Yes, oval. The size is medium in size for this sample. The texture is smooth or veiny. And the weight is very, yes, very light. 
So, let's compare! Now, for our discussion based on the table above, we will answer the questions. 1. How are the sponge and the leaf alike? Let's see. Yes, both are light, medium in size, and they can be soft or smooth in texture. Correct! Next! Question 2. How are the sponge and rock different? Yes, the sponge is soft and light, while the rock is rough and heavy. Next! How are the crayon and paper clip alike? Mm -hmm. Yes, both are small, smooth, and light in weight. How are the crayon and rock different? Mm -hmm. Yes, the crayon is smooth and cylindrical. But the rock is rough and irregular in shape. How are the leaf and paper cliff different? The leaf is natural, soft or veiny, medium in size, while the paper clip is metallic, hard and small. 6. How are the rock and paper clip alike? Both are hard and have a simple shape, but they are made of different materials. 7. How are the sponge and crayon different? The sponge is soft and bigger, while the crayon is smooth, hard, and smaller. 8. How are the rock and leaf alike? Both are medium in size and can be found in nature. How are the sponge and paper cliff different in texture? The sponge is soft and a bit rough, while the paper clip is smooth and hard. 10. How are all five objects alike? They are all light enough to be picked up, and they can be compared by color, shape, size, texture, and weight. Good job! For our generalization, how is comparing done? Comparing is done by observing two or more things and looking on their characteristics, how they are alike, and how are they different. Objects may be alike or different in color, shapes, size, texture, or taste. Evaluation Study the objects below. Write check if they are similar or cross if they are different in the following characteristics. For our object 1, spoon and pork. Are they the same in color? Yes. In shape? No. One is oval. One is pointy. Size? Yes. How about the mango and banana? Are they the same in color? Yes. In shape? No. In size? Yes. No, it's not. How about the dog and the cat? Same in color? No. How about in shape? No. How about in size? Yes, it's not the same. Great job! Teacher's bell. We're learning rings a bell.